Hello there, welcome to a new video series. I've had a few requests to talk about lipstick and nail polish more often, so this is Lips and Nails. Very original title. I'll choose a different colour scheme each time and take you through some of my favourite picks. Red had to kick things off, right? It's a timeless, classy look all year round, but particularly relevant to the festive season. Like many women, I have a real knack for justifying the difference between a world full of identical reds. Such a key part of my lipstick collection, and I'll talk you through the full red range soon. But I tried to choose a mix of cult classics and less common shades for this video. I'm also a big red nail polish person. For a good year or so, I wore red non-stop as part of an elaborate attempt to become Olivia Palermo. She basically only wears red nail polish. So here are some ideas to take the red Palermo pledge if you're up for it. Lips first though. Chanel Rouge Allure in Pirate is possibly their most famous shade and one of the most classic reds in the beauty world. It's a perfect, cool toned red that really makes a statement. Plenty more Chanel reds where this came from. Rouge Dior 999 is the most famous red from the House of Dior. I got this for my birthday in November and have already whipped it out for a few Christmas parties. This is the matte formula, slightly more opaque than the original. It's a fair bit warmer than Pirate, isn't it? A real bright blood red. Charlotte Tilbury has a few killer reds in her range, but I didn't want to be obvious for this entire video, so I skipped red carpet red and chose Karina's Love instead from her Hot Lips range. I bought this a year ago in London, and it's just so beautiful to look at that I actually haven't used it yet. Saving it for something special, so maybe Christmas Day will do. A lesser known ruby red up next from Kat Von D. These studded kiss lipsticks were all the rage a few years ago, but I still really rate this shade Hexagram. Into the Gloss did an amazing editorial shoot with all of the shades. Just bare skin and mascara, and this deep, rich red really pops. It's a little bit of a drying matte, so best worn with the lip balm over the top. Hazard from Topshop might just be the most red red of the bunch, right? A great matte colour. Another one I discovered on Into the Gloss a few years ago. You just feel bolder and braver when you wear something this intense. I don't know, they all look really different, right? Chanel Pirate is the matching nail polish to perfectly colour coordinate your lips and fingertips. My ultimate rich ruby red. Let me know if you'd prefer to see these swatches on my nails or if side by side is okay. In this instance, I sadly didn't have time to paint my nails all different shades of red and then fix them again. <laughs> Sorry. Essie is one of my favourite polish brands. You'll see them feature a lot in this series. Really Red is a perfect popping cherry. I feel like this would be fun on toes in summertime too. Forever Yummy is the strangely titled Deep Cherry Red from Essie. Really useful one. Who am I kidding? These are all looking absolutely identical, aren't they? Yep, great. Moving on. I love these little OPI minis. They always release sets like this at Christmas. This is Malaga Wine, one of their most recognisable shades. The mini is perfect for touch-ups when you're travelling, but luckily you don't lose out on the great wide brush shape. And Big Apple Red is another one of their most famous rouge shades. Much warmer and punchier than Malaga Wine, which is really bordering on burgundy. Again, very decent polish application for something so pint-sized. These are totally different, right? Put on Taylor Swift's fourth album and get ready to wear more red, friends. Please let me know how you like to wear your reds. Is it something you rock every day or amp up at this time of year? And leave your recommendations below. You can never have too much of a good thing. See you next time.